Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com. In today's video I'm going to show you 15 crochet tools you need to get started as a beginner. So when you're a beginner crocheter, you're kind of thinking, what kind of tools do I need? What kind of things do I need to go out and purchase? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you 15 different crochet tools that will help you get started with your crochet journey. As always, I will leave links below just in case you're interested in checking out some of the exact items that I share with you in this video. And I will even include a bonus tip at the very end. So let's begin with today's video. So the first thing that you need when you're starting out as a beginner crocheter is of course yarn. Now there are so many different types of yarn on the market and so many different places that you can get yarn. You can get yarn online, you can get yarn in stores such as Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. You can even get yarn at Walmart. So you have a wide variety of places that you can get yarn and again there's all different types of yarn. So this first yarn I'm talking about is exclusive to Hobby Lobby and it is called I Love This Yarn and they come in so many different colors anywhere from a plain white all the way up to different prints and variations and stripe colors and if you go and just look out look in the aisle of I Love This Yarn you will be amazed at how much yarn that comes in this particular line you will have no trouble finding colors. In fact, you'll probably be like me and have trouble not buying the whole aisle. So this is considered a worsted weight yarn, which is number four, and it is 100% acrylic, and it is machine washable, which is always nice, so that way you can use it for a variety of different projects. And it is a seven ounce skein, or 199 grams, it is 355 yards or 325 meters. For the knitters, they recommend a US 8 5 millimeter, and for the crocheters, a US I 9 or 5.5 millimeter. And it's super squishy and super soft, and again, it comes in a wide variety of colors. You might also encounter some cake yarns. Now, they have a wide variety of cake yarns as well. Like this one, this is more of an ombre, and this is the Lion Brand Mandala Ombre. They also have regular striping colors, and this one is also considered a four weight yarn. And the recommended needle size is a seven or four and a half millimeter, and the recommended crochet hook is an I9, five and a half millimeter. And then for this particular cake, it's 5.3 ounces or 150 grams. It is 344 yards or 350, 315 meters. And again, 100% acrylic machine washable. So you're going to have cakes like this. Again, this one is super squishy and soft. And then you're going to encounter more yarn that's lighter weight yarn, which is what this is. Lighter weight yarn is more yarn that you would use for baby items or maybe even hats and whatnot. This is another cake yarn. This is a Lion Brand Mandala. And this is beautiful colors as you can see. This is also 5.3 ounces and 150 grams. This is 590 yards, 540 meters, Again, machine washable, 100% acrylic. And this is number three lightweight yarn. Knitter, for the knitters, they recommend a five or 3.75 millimeter knitting needle. And for crocheters, an H, eight or five millimeter crochet hook. And then this is what the colors look like. This is Nifflers. And when you work it up, this is what it will look like. So again, it's a little bit on the thinner side. And then another yarn that you will encounter on your journey of crocheting is cotton yarn. Now this is just from Walmart. This is their mainstay, Mainstays line and they just came out with this cotton yarn not too long ago. This is 100% cotton and it's 180 yards or 165 meters. It's a three and a half ounce skein or 100 grams. This is considered a four worsted weight medium yarn 
it is 100% cotton, like I said, and it's machine wash cold. And for the knitters, they recommend a US 8 5mm knitting needle and a US H8 5mm crochet hook. And again, this is pretty soft as well. So you have a variety of different yarns to choose from. Now when it comes to other crochet tools you need as a beginner, the next essential thing is of course crochet hooks. So I have a few different options here and I even have some more over here. So let me just grab that real fast. So this particular one in my hand is the Clover Amore. These are probably my all-time favorite because they have this elastomere plastic on it and it's very good for ergonomics and I feel like I crochet a lot faster with these crochet hooks. They're very lightweight and I feel like they're very good on my hands. Now these are the crochet hooks that I first started with and again there's nothing wrong with them. I just started to develop a lot of carpal tunnel pain and I didn't want to have that because I crochet a lot and I didn't want to suffer. So this is a Susan Bates crochet hook and this is what I kind of started off with. Just all these aluminum crochet hooks. Again, these are very lightweight so you shouldn't have a problem working with it. But for me, I found that I was developing carpal tunnel. And this is a, a boy hook and you can kind of tell the difference where this is see how there's a difference this is more of an inline there's a lot of debate between which hook is better a boy or a Bates hook but it's really up to your preference so those are two options you also have plastic crochet hooks which I don't know if I really recommend but again I was gifted this when I was first learning how to crochet and I just kept it in my stash so this is a plastic crochet hook and then recently I acquired this hook and I got this off Etsy and the seller I got it from was I believe her name is Colleen and it's Sienna's Boutique. I will leave a link below. She has a ton of beautiful handcrafted polymer clay crochet hooks so when I saw that she had a few Harry Potter options of course I had to go and pick them up because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and she has two different options. She has either boy or Bates crochet hooks and I just picked up this boy hook and as you can see, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more, but the craftsmanship on this is absolutely beautiful and you even got the little face on the sorting hat on top. You have Harry's face right here at the lightning bolt course you have Hedwig right here and you have platform nine and three quarters and then even on the back you might not be able to see it but this is a size J so I really like that this option came with the crochet number just because I might not always remember what it is and this also comes with a, a pretty stitch marker that corresponds with it now this is it might feel like a little bit heavier than the clover more crochet hooks. However, I feel like I'm still able to crochet with it and it's still very lightweight to me and again, it's ergonomic so I feel like it really helps with my carpal tunnel a lot. And of course, the design is very cute. So that's another essential thing that I feel like all crocheters need, of course, beside yarn is crochet hooks. And again, there's so many on the on the market that you can choose from, whether it's the the plastic, the ergonomic ones, or the aluminum ones like I showed you. Another thing crocheters should get is a crochet hook case. I recently picked this up off Amazon and I thought it was really cute. It's pink with different cats on it. I love cats. I have a cat of my own and I love the color pink. So this is definitely a win-win in my book. And they also have this same print in a navy color and they have a few other options. So if you wanted to get something, I think they have like a flower option. Um, I think they even have a plain option. And also if you check on Amazon, you can get the case plain like I did with no tools included. Or you can buy the case and it comes with 
for a few extra dollars it comes with all the crochet hooks and stitch markers and everything you need to get started. So when you open it up you have this slot right here which has those elastic bands right here and you can fit crochet hooks and I just put my Clover Moors in here so as you can see they fit fairly easily in here and over here I have two pockets so if you open up this first one the next thing that you need as a crochet beginner is a measuring tape and my friend actually found this for me at Hobby Lobby she knows how much of a bunny fan I am so she just picked that up for me and again it's just a simple tape measure and I just have that in here and another thing crocheters need when you are first starting out are stitch markers now they have a few varieties so I will show you these are just these ones right here are just clover crochet uh, clover stitch markers and all you do is you hook it onto your yarn and you just close it up like that these are really helpful when you're working a hat and you need to know when to stop the hat or you just really can't see your stitches that's these are really good options is for beginners along with that crochet Harry Potter crochet hook that I showed you this is the stitch marker that came with it it's a little envelope which is Harry contains Harry Potter's letter and this is another option so I thought that was cute some other things that you're going to need as a beginner are is this tapestry needle now this is a blunt tapestry needle and it has a large eye so it's easy to insert your yarn and kind of weave in your ends so I really like this one a lot I think this is a boy tapestry needle possibly you can always just pick these up at your craft store and then when I bought the clover stitch markers it comes in this cute little pouch so I keep my tapestry needle and my stitch markers all in here to keep them safe and I keep them in this bottom pouch right here now another thing about this crochet hook case is that it has two pouches so that was the first pouch and then the second pouch in the back holds more crochet hooks now this back here didn't hold all of my clover moors as nicely as the front did because these are smaller pouches and those are for really tiny steel crochet hooks which I don't have those so I just kind of stacked my crochet hooks up over here these are the ones that I don't use as often and then this is my giant crochet hook that did not fit in any of the pouches and then another thing you're going to need as a beginner is a pair of scissors these are just simple ones I picked up at Walmart I know a lot of people have more fancy scissors but it's totally up to you I didn't need anything fancy so these were only a few bucks at Walmart so that is my crochet hook case and next thing you're going to need which is I guess it could be optional but I think I I like it anyway is you need some kind of a bag to keep all of your yarn at for your projects so when I'm currently working on a project I like to keep mine in a bag so that way I have my yarn my pattern my crochet hook and everything all in one bag just so I don't lose anything plus because I have two rabbits and a cat it really helps to keep everything inside kind of neat and not really too much full of pet hair if I can help it so this is one that I got from Peapod Threads I actually have three of her crochet bags because they're all Harry Potter themed like I just said I love Harry Potter so of course I would pick them up and this is a really pretty print and it has the Goblet of Fire cup here it has different spell books it has Hedwig, a broom it has some spells like Expelliarmus, that letter, Luna's Spectre Specs 
So it has a few different things on it, which I really love. And then this bottom is really pretty and it's kind of sparkly. And it also comes with this little strap right here so I can just put it around my arm. And it just stands up just like that. So I can probably fit maybe, I, I don't know, maybe, it depends on what kind of yarn I have, but I can probably fit maybe two or three skeins of I love this yarn in here. And right now in here I have, I have four skeins of this yarn, and this yarn is Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel Cotton. I am planning on making a baby blanket with this, so I just kept this yarn in here. So I would say you can get a pretty decent size in here, and then and the fabric inside was just this blue, pretty, sparkly fabric. So there's different yarn project bags on the market, but this is just what happened to find. I really like how the designer, which I'm sorry I can't remember the name her name right now, but I feel like I really like how she stitches everything up and I think that her designs are absolutely beautiful. Now she does have other project bags besides just Harry Potter, so I will leave her website link below just in case you're interested in checking that out. Also for some crochet tools that you need to get started are these pom-pom makers. These are from Clover and they come in two different sizes. So you have this first size which is a two and a half inch and 65 millimeters and then the second one is an extra large one and it is a three and three eighths, three and three eight eighths inch or 85 millimeters. So these are nice because you can kind of just wrap the yarn around here and you can make your own pom-poms and then on the back it shows you exactly how to do that and then what the pom looks like at the end. So that's always really nice. I don't use these as often. I did use them more at the beginning because I was making uh, a lot of hats but I don't make too many hats right now because I'm on a more of a baby blanket kick so I don't really make palm hats as much but these are great if you wanted to make palms on your hats or at the ends of your scarves. Another beginner crochet tool is a yarn winder and there are a few different options out there but I just wanted something small. When I'm almost done with a skein of yarn and I have a little bit left over I like to wind them up in little cakes and store them on my shelves because I feel like it helps keep everything nice and neat. So this is a, let's see, this is a Stanwood Needlecraft yarn winder that I just picked up off of Amazon. And as you wind them up, this is what it looks like. And then I keep that ball band inside the middle of the yarn cake just so I know what kind of yarn it is and the color. But this is what the cake looks like once you wind it all up. So another thing that you're going to need for, as a beginner, is yarn storage. Now I know a lot of people have different options when it comes to storing their yarn. And they're all valid, so you just have to figure out which one works best for you. Now as a beginner, you probably won't have too much yarn, but as you start loving the craft a lot more, you will probably become a yarn hoarder like the rest of us. So you can always use a tote bin to store your yarn. I know some people just keep it in the regular plastic bags that they get from the store. Some people kind of just put it up on a shelf. So it really depends on your situation and your how much storage you have at home. For me personally, I have a few Calyx shelves that I got from Ikea and I just store them all in, I just store all my yarn in that and I feel like it works really well for me. I actually have two of the smaller ones. I think they have 
eight cubbies in them, and then I have the giant calyx shelf, which holds, I think it has 16 cubbies. That giant one currently has more Harry Potter Funko Pops on it right now. I'm in the process of finding some shelving so I can display those Funko Pops up on my wall, and then that way I would have more storage for yarn. But for the two other smaller calyx shelves, I have all of my yarn stored on that. So you're definitely going to need something to put your yarn in and just kind of keep it away until you're able to use it. So I highly recommend getting tote bins when you're first starting out and then if you want to upgrade you can always get a calyx shelf like I did for Ikea. They also have similar shelves like the calyx shelves that you can get at Walmart or Target and a believe they might even have some at Michael's for much cheaper price. Um, so it just depends on what you want to get for your yarn storage. Another thing that I recommend, especially if you have no idea how to pair colors up like me, I kind of just tend towards, you know, getting all of the same color or I just get a color and I mix it with the white and call it a day. But I really want to expand my knowledge of color, so I picked up these two color wheels, which I got at Am on, Am on Amazon. And these, I feel like, are going to help with me figuring out what colors to use. Now, for this one, it has the primary colors on this side, and then it has a few pastel colors or lighter colors on this side. And again, this one helps as well with that with those different colors. So this is really good to if you want to mix color with your color wheels and kind of figure out what you want to add. It even includes the neutral gray colors and the black colors as well. So I thought these were really good investments on Amazon and they were only like maybe ten dollars or so. So I feel like these are really good if you're starting out as a beginner crocheter because I feel like that these would help you figure out what kind of colors you can pair together. Another thing that a beginner crocheter might want to take is or might want to get is a pen and notebook. Now you might ask why but I feel like when you're jotting down notes regarding a pattern as far as like for me I write down where I left off at a pattern. I also design my own pattern, so this is really helpful when it comes to everything like here. So I have my, you know, a pattern here. Um, this one you can pull out the pages, which is why that one's upside down. But it just shows you like, kind of like my thought process of different patterns that I'm working on or designing. So I highly recommend getting a notebook and a pen. You can get them anywhere at Walmart or Home Depot, or not Home Depot, um, Staples. So you can get them anywhere and kind of just jot down your notes, like I said. It's very helpful. All right, another thing that you need for a crochet tool to get started as when you're crocheting, at least to me, is a pattern binder. Now. As well, uh, I'm a yarn hoarder as well as a pattern hoarder, so I kind of thought having a binder would be very helpful to keep everything all in one spot. And I kind of separated it a little bit, and this is baby patterns. Most of these patterns are blanket patterns, and I have a few different ones. Most of them are free patterns that I found online, however, there are some of them that I paid for so different patterns there like I said mostly blanket pattern because that's what I'm into and then I bought this ultimate towel toppers PDF which comes with a bunch of different crochet towel topper patterns I've definitely made these a bunch for craft fairs and then there's that pattern again and then this is another one, it's turkey, and then this is a free pattern here. So I definitely recommend getting a pattern binder where you can keep all your patterns and kind of refer back to them. So another thing that beginner crocheters need to have, of course, is good lighting. 
when it comes to crocheting you need to be able to see your work especially if you're working with a darker color such as black or dark brown or even a dark gray color you need to be able to see your stitches so I definitely recommend getting maybe an outlight which you can find at Joanne Fabrics online and, and in stores you can also get some of those wrap around your neck lighting tools so it's really up to you what you want um, you can even just go in bright sunlight so it just depends on what kind of lighting options that you need and I feel like if you have good lighting then you would definitely be able to see your stitches and not miss a stitch and for your bonus tip your bonus tip when learning how to crochet as a beginner is patience now I know Learning a new skill could be especially frustrating when you are not understanding it and you're not getting it and you feel like you're doing something wrong. When I first learned how to crochet, I crocheted with really scratchy yarn and I crocheted with a very tiny, I believe size F crochet hook. I don't recommend crocheting with the small crochet hook. I highly recommend crocheting with a bigger crochet hook like an eye just so you can see your stitches and not be so tight with your stitches but that's what I learned with and I can never get my ends straight and I can never figure out different things with how to crochet so I can I couldn't figure out the stitches I couldn't figure out how to make my ends straight like I said so I just became really frustrated with it but I was still very interested in learning how to crochet so I kept up with it and I just tried to be as patient as I possibly could be because I really wanted to learn how to crochet. So bonus tip is learn how to be as patient as can be. You will definitely understand how to crochet if you keep up with it and you just keep practicing. That's the best way to learn any kind of trick or any kind of skill is to just keep practicing over and over until you get it. So this has been my video on 15 crochet tools you need to get started as a beginner crocheter. I hope you enjoyed these different tools that I talked about and if there are any other tools that I might have forgotten please leave me a comment below and share some of your crochet tools that you enjoy using as a beginner or even as a more advanced crocheter. So again, I will leave all the links below in case you're interested in checking out any of the tools, the crochet tools that I talked about in this video. Again, my name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if you ever want to see a video Please let me know what type of video you would like to see next, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everyone, and be safe. Bye!